This film explains the main ballast water treatment technologies available on the market today. Our ambition is to help you with collecting all the crucial information prior to your ballast water treatment system investment. Based on your operational conditions, where you will sail, where you ballast and de-ballast. At Alpha Laval, we've supported our customers with solutions for ballast water treatment for more than 10 years. And we will continue to be here for you today and tomorrow. Customers might perceive it's a jungle out there. We get many questions about uh, pros and cons of different technologies. Basically, there are two main groups of ballast water treatment technologies, which is physical ballast water treatment. It basically refers to UV systems. And chemical ballast water treatment um, is mostly so-called electrochlorination, or EC systems. The main difference between UV and EC systems is that a UV system applies UV radiation to disinfect the water and the EC system um, creates chemicals with the salinity of the water to disinfect the water. Customers that choose a UV systems usually do that due to the fact that it's easier to install and to operate and also because it's safe for the operator because it doesn't use chemicals or active substances that generate disinfection byproducts or hydrogen. Also UV systems have a relatively low operational cost, so on, on the total cost of ownership it's, it's usually um, a good selection. And it's a reliable technology which proved efficiency over the past years and also it's independent of the seawater temperature and its salinity. A UV system basically works by treating the ballast water by UV radiation and disinfects the ballast water by that. That means that at ballast operation, when you take the water up into the vessel, the um, water is filtered by a seawater filter for the larger sediment, um, followed by a treatment of UV radiation in the UV chamber. When you deballast, the filter is usually not used again, but the UV chamber still disinfects the ballast water a second time to ensure compliance. EC systems have often been perceived as the better choice when it comes to high flow applications, typically exceeding 3000 cubic meter an hour. However, the latest market developments have shown that the maximum power consumption of a UV and an EC system is actually quite similar. And the reason for that is that the EC system is dependent on the seawater temperature and the salinity. And the lower the temperature and the lower the salinity, the higher the power that needs to be put in. Additionally, Pure Ballast is developed with four different UV reactor sizes to meet the different demands of the market. Um, by this we can cover flows from 32 cubic meter up to 3000 cubic meter an hour in just one Pure Ballast system. We've done research and development for Pure Ballast for more than 15 years and we see that the proper cleaning of the system is quite essential to ensure compliance and also long-term performance. And here we've tested over time many different technologies to clean the system and came to the conclusion that the best way to do that is with a cleaning and place unit, our SIP unit. Well, as an application leader, Alpha Laval has the responsibility to be fully updated and to be able to inform the customer about the latest developments. Alpha Laval is a big player in the maritime industry and that means we have a strong global sales and service network. We have various distribution centers worldwide and we are prepared to ramp up our production capacities to meet the increased demands on the market. US Coast Guard extensions will now be limited or if granted at all, and the expiration date will not be aligned with the dry docking. Tuballast is designed to work in the most challenging waters worldwide and also got the US Coast Guard type approval for all three salinities, which is marine water, brackish water, and fresh water. So regardless where you go, you're covered with Pure Ballast 3.1.